What if I w told you guys that I'm watching Google TV on my extra beam and I'm also using the remote control while getting a massage? This is not a clickbait. Stay tuned on how I did this. This is incredible and it works so good. Before we get started, I wanted to show you guys that you can actually download third party apps onto the Beam itself. So you don't need your phone or any kind of external device to watch Netflix, YouTube and things like that. However, you would have to jailbreak your device. Now, by doing this, you can actually uh, run, you know, things like Netflix and go in, watch whatever movie you want to watch. Whenever you do this, your beam itself turns into a cursor. That's what that purple thing dot that you guys are seeing is. You go in there, you find a movie that you want to watch, you click on it. Voila. The downside to this is you lose your ability to have spatial display, which means that the, the screen is going to be fixed in one place. If you want to have spatial display, then you're going to have to do the next method I'm going to show you, which is by using Google TV. Now, if you guys want a video of how to jailbreak your beam the easy way, put it in the comment section and maybe I'll get to if I get enough requests. So now let me show you guys the second method. First things first, if you have a Samsung phone and you have the ability to do DeX, or you have a Motorola and you have the ability to do one of those, you know, computer-like thing, there is absolutely no reason for you to do this because those simplify the process. And this is one, also one of those things where you really don't have to do unless you really, really want to. It's funny because about two months ago, I made a video on how to connect Google TV to your x glasses. This was when I found out that x was announcing the Beam. And this was before Roku gave any indication of the, Google, uh, of the Roku station. So in a way, I was kind of ahead of, ahead of them. But the difference between this and the Roku station is Roku simplifies everything except with Roku, you don't get the three dollar face, which means your display follows your, your face every everywhere you move, which is not really what we want. We want the display to stay in one place while we move our head, you know, different places. But anyways, to show you how this is gonna work, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need the Beam, of course, Google TV or Fire Stick. It works with Fire Stick as well. And you're gonna need glasses. And then you're gonna need this cable, this adapter that allows you to have HDMI on either side, and then you're going to need this right here. This is to provide power to the Google TV and to this cable right here because this cable actually requires a micro USB to work. Now, let's connect everything and show you how it all works. First thing is you're gonna connect your Google TV to this adapter. Then you connect this adapter to the other end. Now you've linked them together. Now, the video and everything is coming from this and it's gonna pass through this into your beam. So what you're going to do now is connect your beam, this port, to this. So your beam is connected to this. I'm just using a short cable to show you an example of what it looks like. This cable is connected to this adapter. This adapter connects to this little adapter and then it connects to this Google TV. Now we know that Google TV does not work unless you have a type C port that is connected to the power outlet. And this little device here also requires power because it does some kind of work where it converts the video. It converts the video that's coming out from here to this. This is one of those adapters that you're not gonna easily find. It's, it's very hard to find. So this is probably your only bet for this. When you buy one of these, I believe it comes with this. So you're gonna connect it. And you're gonna, to give it power, you're gonna connect this right here. 
it doesn't really matter which port you connect it to it's still going to get power regardless so connect it to one of the ports you're going to take this end this end right here and you're going to connect it to the google tv that's how you give it power now to power everything you're going to need to power this right here which will power this and this I'm gonna be using this cable right here you can use any type C that connects straight to the wall but for the sake of convenience I'm just gonna put this right here so now you have your Google TV which is now on and you have your extra beam which is now on the only thing left now is to connect your beam to the glasses which at this point you're going to connect this end and then go straight to the glasses or this other side whichever one works you're all done <laughs> now this is a lot of wires so once again this is only meant for if you really want to do this if you really want to watch DRM content this is the way to do it if you don't have DeX or if you don't want your phone screen to be on and you want Google TV to play this is a way and now with Google TV you can actually play games so this will work you can play video games so you can actually put this on a desk you know or in a bag to conceal it whatever the beautiful thing about it is this remote actually works so you can use this remote to navigate in your screen now because I can't easily record what you're gonna see I'm gonna use my cell phone to show you guys what you essentially will be seeing if you were actually to put it on your face this is basically what it looks like with the glasses on your face with this way you bypass all the DRM limitations you can watch anything you want to watch Netflix Hulu everything and you keep all your spatial features like zoom in zoom out a body anchor you know whatever it is that you want to do typically you have no limitations with this but anyway thank you for watching i'll catch you guys at the next one take care